Hello, families. Uh, happy Friday of the octave of Easter. It is April 17th today as I'm sitting here recording this, and I'm just uh, dropping in to offer some words of words of wisdom, words of comfort, words of encouragement to the families who, uh, for a variety of reasons, might be struggling and just having a rough time of it. Uh, just wanted to offer some some words of encouragement and maybe a little bit of an instruction or give you some ideas about what to go moving forward. I know that uh, this is a stressful time for families for a lot of different reasons, uh, and we hate to add additional stress by kind of, you know, asking the question of uh, religious education for your children. And I just want to take a, an opportunity to, to just uh, thank all the parents and the families out there who are, you know, struggling and striving and doing what they can to try and uh, raise their children in the faith. To, to pass on the faith uh, to them. The reality is the faith uh, is the greatest gift that we can give our children. A relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, who we celebrate his, uh, the fact that he rose from the grave, he defeated sin and death, uh, the celebration of Easter, the resurrection, uh, which we're right in the midst of right now. Uh, that's the greatest gift we can give our children. Uh, of all the things that parents are called upon to, to pass on to their kids, each and every one of you... Uh, at the time of the, the baptism of, uh, of any one of your children, of, of all of your children, uh, made a promise that you would, you would raise the child in the faith. And you were reminded by the priest or deacon that it is, it is you, parents, who are the first and, and, and most important uh, primary teachers in the faith. It's, it's something of a, of a providential paradox, I guess, uh, uh, but it is certainly providential that we're in a time where uh, in a particular way, you're being asked to to really take on that responsibility once again. And I just want to, again, thank you all for, for all the sacrifices and the, uh, that you've made in order to continue handing on the faith to your children. And I want to encourage you that, you know, we're behind you. We're, we're willing to do what we can uh, as a parish, as a parish community, myself and Rhonda and, and all of, uh, and Maria and all of uh, the catechists, willing to do what we can to, to make your, uh, to make this task of yours as easy as we can. Uh, so to that end, we're attempting to uh, create a new, not, not, not so much a new, but a different avenue uh, to be able to take, especially for those families who have multiple children in different grades. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's difficult to present. First, you've got to present third grade material and then fifth grade material and then seventh grade material or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, and it can be difficult to do so. And we're certainly sensitive to that, so we're trying to to craft a way that you can continue to hand on the faith, and 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 this doesn't have to be just a vacuum. This time of of stay at home, this time of quarantine, you know, God only knows what 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 life's going to look like after this. But hopefully, you know, this coming fall we can we can uh, resume uh, instruction the way we we we're, we're accustomed to doing it. But for the time being, uh, to hand on that faith, it, it falls to you, parents. And again, thank you for your sacrifices and your efforts in that regard. Uh, and I just want to encourage you to continue to to ask questions, to continue to come to us. We're still available, uh, myself, Rhonda, uh, Maria, we're still available to to answer questions, to try and, and, and meet you where you're at, whatever that, may, whatever that might look like for you. And again, we're hoping to, to uh, unveil something that can help you uh, especially those of you who have multiple children in different grades, different different uh, stages of formation in the faith. And, you know, again, I just want to reemphasize that, that, you know, our, our faith is first and foremost a relationship. It has content, it has material, it has things that we want to teach. We want to make sure that, that our young people understand and, and they know something about their faith. Um, as St. Peter, in one of his letters, counsels us, always be ready to make a defense for the reason for your hope. Uh, and that's what we're trying to give our children, is to be able to articulate why it is that this relationship with the Lord is so important. But it is just that. First and foremost, it's our faith is one, it's a relationship with God. It's a relationship with God in the risen Christ, you know, empowered by the Holy Spirit. And so that's what we're trying to, to, to maintain, is that relationship. And just like all relationships, there's, they're dynamic you know, we're always changing, we're always growing, we're always, uh, you know, the relationships are always, uh, there's always a sense of, uh, it's never quite the same day from day to day. And and part of that is is the content that we share, 
the fact that God is one in three, the fact that Jesus Christ is truly God and truly human being, uh, and everything that that entails, everything that follows from that. So again, thank you. Thank you, parents, for your sacrifices. Thank you for, you know, just trying to make do with what we've got. Uh, and, and we want to try to help you as best we can. We're going to try to to make it as easy as possible, both now and also in the future. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out. We want to hear from you. We want to help you as best we can. And hopefully in the next couple of days and the weeks ahead, we can offer you a few more resources and a few more outlets to help you continue to share that faith, as is your, as is your responsibility as parents, to share that faith, to share that relationship with the Lord, which looks like something. And so... With that, uh, I wish you all a very happy Easter as we come to the conclusion of this octave, these eight days of the celebration of Easter and move into the Easter season. Uh, continue to entrust yourselves to the risen Lord. We are a people of an empty tomb. We are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. This is never more true than it is now. So thank you again. Know that my prayers and my, my blessings go with you. Please don't hesitate to ask us to come to us if you have any questions or concerns. We, we're here to serve you. We're here to help you. Thank you again, and God bless.